Hey guys, what is up and welcome to today's video. Today, actually last night, <laughs> um, I got my ThreadUp package in. If you don't know, I order a ThreadUp assorted mix box every single month from ThreadUp, most of the time, most of the months. It started a couple months ago. And I've been pretty happy with kind of like the rate that things have been selling. So obviously I'm continuing it. The last box, I told y'all was really good and all the really good pieces have already sold, which is really exciting. But I knew that, okay, my first box was kind of a meh. The second box was fab. The third box is probably gonna be meh. So we'll see if it's meh today. But this is the assorted box. So I spend $3.03 on every single item in this box unless there's something damaged and I can't sell it. So then obviously the price of goods goes higher because there's less in the box. Um, last month, I did get rid of one item that I didn't show y'all in the haul, which was like a velvet jumpsuit, but the straps were broken. But I think they gave me extra stuff because it still ended up being 303 an item, which was wild. So if you don't know, I pay $76 for this box. And the reason I get this box is because I can't go thrifting all the time. Plus my cost of goods when I go thrifting is pretty high. So I use this box to lower my cost of goods for the month. So I don't feel like I'm spending like so much money. <clears throat> so without further ado, if you guys like thread up boxes, and unboxings, make sure to like and subscribe and let's get right into it. So this is not a mystery box. I mean, this is a mystery box. My last month was not a mystery box because I opened it before I showed y'all what it was because I was just too excited. But I was so tired after work yesterday. Like literally my brain was so fried that I just saw the box. I asked my husband to help me pick it up. And uh, I, so I didn't have time to open it, so. We are going to open it together and see it together right now. Oh, okay. So this is Bowden. It's a size 10. It's a really nice peasant top. That's actually not bad as the first brand. Bowden's a great brand. You have Bowden dresses. I've never sold a top. It is definitely a little worn. But you know what? For $3.03, we can still sell it. So that'll stay in the stay pile. We have some beige pants. Oh gosh, I always get so nervous. Oh, this is We The Free, size 27, so free people jeans. They are US 27. I haven't sold free, oh, oh no, does it work? Hold on, we always have to check. I don't know what style these are. I'll look it up later, but they are We The Free, size 27. I don't pick up free people jeans because, um, Honestly, they don't really sell that great for me. Oh, and there is a stain in the back. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna see if I can take it out with soap and if I can't take it out. Oh, actually, maybe it's the pattern because there's a little bit on this side as well. I'll take a photo of it and see if people still want it. It's only there, it's nowhere else. Um, so not too bad. I think I'll still list them because they're in like pretty popular style. So that's not like a deal breaker for me. If there's something damaged, I've sold damaged stuff in the past. Okay, this is Ann Taylor Loft size two. I don't know what brand or what style this is, but I can always look out the number. I'm, these are actually pretty okay, unless y'all see something in the front that I don't. But I think they may be Yes, they are hemmed. So I don't know if I wanna deal with that. So we're gonna put these in the maybe pile to keep. Anything that I don't keep actually, um, I've just put back in a thread of box and send it back. Um, it's fine. Um, I honestly mostly keep everything. Okay, we have Derek Lamb for Athleta. If y'all know Derek Lamb is a fabulous <laughs> designer. Um, we have Derek Lamb for Athleta. I don't know why this head did not sell on the website. Gorgeous dress, color block, size small. This is really heavy, so let's see what. This is viscose, nylon, spandex, and lysosil. It's 2015, which is an older style, but I don't see anything wrong with it. It just needs a little bit of a lint roll. So we're gonna keep that. Derek Lamb, that's always good. For Athleta, which is even better because Athleta is a great brand. 
Okay, now we got to that interesting rainbow polka dot thing, which if y'all know, I kind of love this. Um, this is International Concepts. It's a top. Oh my God, how cute. It's like iridescent paint brush style. Kind of cute. I'm kind of digging it. The size does suck, <laughs> at least for me. I don't sell this particular size often. This is a PP, which I think is an extra small um, petite. But still super cute, and I will be keeping that 100%. All right, we have a really thick cable knit sweater. Oh, is this new with tags? It is new with tags. It's a medium large. It is by Anthropology. New with tags. Interesting. Originally $128 beautiful green poncho cable knit need to get this listed asap if you watched my last haul video i talked about how like in the second part i talked about how spring is sprung online and resale so pretty much get all your winter stuff in the next item is another beautiful ooh what are you this is ula johnson this might be a good one too ula johnson it's definitely not like in style. I mean, it could be. I don't know what's wrong with it. I don't even know what size it is. It's kind of like a paper bag type dress. Like the material. Definitely needs to hang up for a little bit because it's a little wrinkly. Little wrinkly. But I mean, Ula Johnson's a great brand from what I've heard. I've never found it in the wild. Looks like actually there's a slight mini, 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 mini hole right there. But other than that, I don't see anything else wrong with it. This is 100% cotton size, small Ula Johnson. So very cool. Next is another kind of basic lace type top. This is cable and gauge. It's just a really nice kind of, it gives me gothic Victorian vibes. Um, eyelet lace top. Cable and gauge or gauge, however you want to pronounce it. Size small. Okay, let's see what else. We have a skirt and Taylor Petite. It's basic. It's probably only... It's just a small petite skirt. So we will be listing that. That's a basic. Um, we have some pants. Oh, these are like... What are these? They're Athleta sweatpants. They look like they definitely need to be lint rolled though. These are Athleta size small. They are like these black sweatpants. <laughs> I don't even know what these are, but they are so dirty. I'm going to definitely have to work on that one a little bit before listing. Next we have a jacket blazer. Oh, I love this. It's like a ribbed moto style jacket. It's true. Oh, you can't even see that. Good job, Rosa. True. And it is a really nice moto style jacket. It's a short kind of blazer jacket. Definitely needs to be lint rolled. A lot of this shit needs to be lint rolled. They have like a cat running around there or something. Like, I don't understand. Next, we have Under Armour Cold Gear hoodie. <coughs> what does it say? It says Under Armour. <laughs> Sky blue and silver. <clears throat> looks pretty good doesn't have really any staining which is nice I always get very nervous when it comes to like light colors in thread up boxes because I always feel like there's gonna be like some sort of staining but that looked pretty good okay this one definitely has staining so I don't even know if I want to look at it I don't want to deal with that it's a Zara basic but you know what it's so messed up it has like rips and sweat marks and I saw like a stain. This is gonna go back. This is not cute. We have Lily Pulitzer, size small. The last time we got a Lily Pulitzer in this box, it was completely tie-dye stained. I still listed it. We'll see if somebody wants it. But it's a very beautiful t-shirt. It looks like this one is not stained, which is great. Lily Pul is this for Target? No, it's regular Lily Pulitzer. Regular Lily Pulitzer. This is a great one, especially for the spring and summer months coming up. We have a Madewell top. 
This is just a button up short sleeve, size large. Very nautical, size small. What year is this? This is fall 20, so it's not too old. Okay, we have something yeller. It looks like a wrap dress. I think it is a wrap dress. Is there a brand? Yes, oh my goodness, it is Everlane, size zero zero, so it's tiny for the Rosa. It is like a yellow wrap dress. Comes with a little stringy right here, so we'll work that out later, but hey, Everlane double zero. I'll take it, there are double zeros out there. All right, we have a little camo crew neck, which I don't even think has, it doesn't have anything. I don't know if I wanna waste time on it. Yeah, it doesn't have anything in it. Tell me what it is, but this is what it looks like. We'll send this back to thread up. I'm doing, I know I mentioned that I was gonna have a thread up like clean out video coming up, but I realized um, I have to do it in January. I can't do it now, so we'll have it done in January. Ooh, new with tag, All Saints. Why is this in here? Why has no one purchased it? I'm sure I'll find the reason after I'm done with this, but it's like a dress of some sort. Beautiful blush color. It is a size US 8. New with tag, so beautiful, All Saints. I haven't found All Saints in the wild since like my first or second year of resale. Like I have I have not found All Saints. I used to find it actually quite often, but I, it's gone, <laughs> I don't know. All right, next is an Eileen Fisher, oh, 100% linen. It's like a really pretty kind of moo moo type thing. I don't, I think I see a stain, maybe. I can't tell. It's really nice though. It's a size <clears throat> extra large linen dress. <laughs> this is a really good box, y'all. Really good box. Even though we have some duds, most of the stuff that I'm getting that I can actually sell are pretty good brands. I am shooketh. Okay, we have Adrian Vitadini. Never heard of this brand, but it is a blazer. That looks pretty good, no problems, from what I can tell early on. We'll go ahead and sell it. Um, this is a size six, and here is the label, if y'all know what it is. Wow, well, we're doing very well today. Um, okay, this is Nine West Jeans. Basic mall brand, but it's a pretty dark floral top. It feels like it's linen though. If it's a mall brand and it's linen, Rosa will be very, very happy. Where is, it's kind of like a wrap top. Where is, here we go. <laughs> it's a Missy Small, so I think that means petite maybe. 100% viscose. And then in the bottom, they always have like jackets and such. This is scotch and soda. Oh my God. <laughs> this is so heavy. I swear last time I got another really heavy jacket. Um, okay. Scotch and soda. It's a good brand actually. <laughs> it has a leopard lining inside. I cannot show you the whole thing. I don't know if, if there's anything wrong with it or not. Um, but I will list it and let y'all know how this looks. But really like heavy freaking duty it's a size oh it looks like the lining um can come out which is great oh see it says peep i do not think this is a petite at all I... all right a few more pieces we have something bright red made by anthropology us zero such a cute little dress i can't tell if those are whales or birds or what but we'll look it up via Google Lens. Maeve. Ooh, something silky. Something silky. Jason Wu. I have a feeling Jason Wu's a really good brand. Oh, it's like a silky, like 90s style skirt. So nice. Size 12. 
really nice and satiny. Okay, last item in the box is a Theory blazer. These are always nice to get for $3.03. I think it all went up to probably like $4 an item because I got rid of a few things. But really nice open kind of stitching looking theory size eight okay y'all i'm really excited about this haul because a there was no banana in here which is wild i usually always get banana and loft always in these boxes and i never get like good branded like i do get good brand but not when it's mostly really good brands this was probably our best box yet meaning the next box is going to be very mediocre <laughs> compared to this one i mean and also barely any issues in this box as well when it comes to the higher end brands i always feel like whenever i get higher end brands um when it comes to thread up there's always something wrong with it for example anthropology skirt i sold it for 60 dollars. it was a farm rio but it had a massive tear in the hem and i had to slightly fix it i sold it um and i got a really i got a five star for it but like higher end stuff i always feel like are gonna be like really messed up so i'm extremely happy to say that a lot of this was not i am gonna put the rest of these items um into my new thread up bag that i'm gonna fill up for january um the ones that i didn't keep uh so we'll have to do some math on that and see how much or how many items I actually kept, but from the math, it should be around 22 items I kept with three getting rid of. So yeah, that was really great. If you guys want to try thread up clean up boxes, definitely do so. I think it's definitely worth it. And that's the tea. So I will let y'all go. I hope you all have a great rest of your day. And hopefully in the next sales video if these are listed by then i'll have some of these sold so you'll be able to see what sold from this box all right y'all i'll see you later thank you so much for watching like subscribe and i'll see you all in the next one Bye bye